Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, I want to take a moment to talk in detail about virtual copies. Now, I think we briefly might have shown you guys sometimes when we actually use them during the tutorials, but we haven't talked about in detail what they are, what they're for, and kind of how we use them in our workflow. Now, to create a virtual copy, there's several different ways. We can right click on an image, we can go down and say create virtual copy, or just use a shortcut that I use the most frequently, which is just control and apostrophe or command apostrophe on a Mac. So I'm going to hit that now. Let's choose a image that we haven't already seen a million times. Uh, let's go down here. We'll go to this flower image right here. Actually, let's pick the monk. Let's do the monk. We will do control apostrophe now or command apostrophe. And now we get a virtual copy of this image. Now it's not actually a copy of the actual original raw file. It's what we call a virtual copy, which is just a copy of that image's settings basically represented as a new image. So if we tweak this image, like if we go to our develop module, actually we don't need to do that. Let's just apply a quick develop setting to this. Um, we'll go here, we'll apply one of these black and white filters to it. We'll say the red filter. So with this filter applied to it, it basically just takes that original image and creates a virtual duplicate with the new developed settings that we've applied to it. So what happens is when we export this uh, series of images, we get both the original as well as the virtual copy with different uh, effects on it. So it's really nice if say we want to create three different versions of image. Maybe for this one, I want a black and white. I'm gonna create one more virtual copy of the original. And on this one, I'm gonna create a, let's go and create a color preset and we'll call it an aged photo. And so now we have three different versions of the exact same photo, but it's not taking up much more hard drive space because it's only saving the information from that for the develop settings on that new photo. When I actually render them out or when I export them from Lightroom, at that point it will take up extra space because it's gonna create three different versions of that image. Now we talked about how when we were filtering, we could actually filter by virtual copies. And we'll quickly remind you guys how to do that. Just hit the backslash key to bring up your library filters. Uh, we're going to bring up the attributes. And then on the right side, we can filter by virtual copies. So we can see all the virtual copies in our catalog. Now, if I select both of these and delete them, because they're only virtual copies, it'll tell me, first of all, that they are virtual copies. And if I remove them, it's not going to remove the original master photo. So when I go back to all my originals, I can still see that our monk is still there and the original settings are still there on him. So virtual copies are great for creating duplicates of an image with different developed settings applied to them. While you're in Lightroom, virtual copies won't take up any extra hard drive space or very, very little hard drive space until you get to the point where you export them. Now, when we get to the develop module, we're going to talk about snapshots. And so briefly, I want to tell you guys what the difference is between a virtual copy and a snapshot. We're not going to talk too much right now about how a snapshot works because we will cover that in the develop module, but let's just go over the differences. Real quick, I'm going to create a virtual copy of this image one more time by hitting control apostrophe or command apostrophe on a Mac. And I'm going to just get hit V to convert this to a black and white image. Okay, now I'm going to go to my original image and we're going to go to the develop module and we're going to create a snapshot of this image. So I'm going to zoom out by clicking on it once because it actually showed up as zoomed in all the way. Uh, now under this left side menu, I have the option to create different snapshots. And we'll notice that if I expand it right now, there aren't any snapshots. So I'm going to create one snapshot, with it, which is just the original. We'll call that the snapshot name. I'm going to create another snapshot, and I'm going to apply this to black and white. And then let's create, actually, let's just apply one of our presets to this. So let's go to our presets and choose one. Let's just do an effect preset. We'll do this grain heavy, and then we'll do bleach bypass for the image. Oh, and it replaced my grain, but that's okay. All right, so we have a new version of the photo, and I'm going to create another snapshot. We're going to call this aged. All right, now what I can do with snapshots is I can flip back between different versions of the image. I can even add another one, which is just the black and white version. So I'm going to convert this to black and white, and then we'll say black and white. And we have the exact same version of the image as the virtual copy. So you might be asking, well, what's the difference then between a snapshot and a virtual copy? Well, it's this. A snapshot is only going to export. It'll only export the snapshot that's actually currently applied to the image. So we have three snapshots on this image, and if we export this image, it's just going to export the version of the image with the snapshot that is currently selected. So if I have this selected, it's only going to export with the age snapshot. It won't export versions of the black and white and original. With a virtual copy, I can do the exact same three thing and create different versions of the image, but when I export, it'll create three different versions of that image. So basically the difference is when you want to create and deliver three different versions of an image, 
then you would deliver them using virtual copies so that when you export, it creates three different versions. When you want to just have different settings on a single image, but you want to only show or you want to only export one of those, then you would use snapshots as opposed to virtual copies. All right, guys, so that covers virtual copies and how they differ from snapshots. We're going to talk more about snapshots, of course, when we get in the develop module, and we're going to be using virtual copies frequently when we actually start developing our images.